So you want to learn how to code and you don't know where to start. Let me point you to CS50. I think it's one of the best courses for learning how to code online. Actually, I think it's one of the best courses overall online. It's made by Harvard. It's got very good lectures. The assignments that they give you really force you to work on the code and to really understand the code like 100%. If you take a look in this chart here, most of the people that start CS50 do not finish. Only about 7% of the people that start finish. So I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to get the best out of the course and also increase your chances that you will stay throughout the entire course and finish. And I would also give you a couple of hints of what to do when you're feeling stuck and overwhelmed and you feel like you just can't complete the assignments. So let's get right through it. All right, so the first tip that I want to give you guys is take it easy. What do I mean by taking it easy? The course is about 10, 11 weeks long. There's a ton of material. So it's very easy for you to get in this like unhealthy loop of trying to bite too much out of the course. So I would actually recommend you guys to only do maximum of two hours per day on the course. And during this time, you should turn off all your distractions. So disconnect from WhatsApp, disconnect from social media. Don't even check your email. Just focus two hours straight in coding, no entertainment, just coding actually in general just the 10 weeks that you're gonna be doing this course I would recommend that you try to disconnect as much as possible so if you are the type of person that likes to entertain a lot online watch a lot of movies go a lot on social media I would really keep that to a minimum and I would instead suggest that you go outside that you do more physical things I really do things that are totally disconnected from sitting on a desk or sitting somewhere and consuming media so yeah just pace yourself and learn hard work hard obviously and also play hard you know get some time off go do other things life goes on and it's not all about the code and I think the healthier lifestyle that you have for yourself the healthier your body your mind and your soul will be the better you're going to be able to do at the course you know sometimes if you're really healthy and you're really sharp your mind is sharp you know in two hours you could accomplish the same or more than you would accomplish in 10 hours if you're feeling tired and if you're feeling sad and if you're feeling overwhelmed all these different things impact your performance so if you try to put yourself in a schedule that you know prioritizes your well-being and dedicate a maximum as i said two hours for the course i think you'll be a much better play than 93 percent of the people that drop out my second tip is if you need to watch the lectures twice then just go ahead and do it there's no hurry here you don't have to get things on the first try if you didn't understand something and odds are you won't understand the lecture on the first try just go ahead and watch it again and it's really gonna sink in and when you go attack the problems you're gonna be feeling a lot less lost so actually what I used to do when I took the course was I would watch the lecture let's say on a Monday and then Tuesday morning I would go ahead and start the problem set and usually I would get to the point where I would get like stuck so just to distract myself and not feel down I would literally just watch the whole lecture again at like 1.75 speed and then the next day I would come back and retry the problem set and it would be so much easier for me I would understand the code I would be inspired I would know more or less how to start setting up the solution I would get actually very far into solving the the problem but more importantly I was really understanding the code and understanding the different constant I was remembering what the lecture was about I was remembering the important concepts and how to apply them tip number three ask questions there's a whole community online of other people that have taken the course before other people that are currently taking the course they are online and they are available and there's website where you can take any question that you have post it there together with the code and you would just get good help from other people right there on your code usually without giving you the answer so that you could still get your code one step further towards the solution and that's how you learn okay so the fourth tip is stay organized when you're done with this course you're gonna end up with just a ton of code the most compelling thing that you could do with this code is pretty much rebrand it as your own projects that you have worked on in the past and put it on your github and on your website and use it towards your portfolio so that you can convince employers that they should hire you okay so here we get to my last tip of how to get unstuck there will be a point where you just don't know how to continue. You're not gonna know how to solve the problem. You're not gonna know what the next slide code is. You're not gonna understand what's going on, if, if anything. And you're gonna get to that point. And when I was taking a course, I got to this point, I would say daily. And so I came up with a, a three stage approach to getting unstuck. The first step is to take a break, whatever it is, something totally different from sitting on a desk and doing computer work. The second step that I would do is when I would come back to the computer, I would just go ahead and try to figure out what code from the lecture was most similar to the code that I was trying to recreate during the problem set. 
So if that meant having to watch the lecture for a third time, I would do it. I would finish my two hours of coding and then I would say to myself, you know what, I only have a couple more lines of code. And those couple more lines of code would take me another hour sometimes to the point that I would just say, okay, let's stop here, no more. The next day I would wake up and say to myself, oh wow, I literally just missed a semicolon, that's crazy. 